also I got a new weapon. So yay to that. <laughs> Alright, so now we can go back into our journal and go for the hunt for Grodd. This is Superman. We're not gonna let Grodd win this one. If you can find the Flash inside his base, the two of you can take down Grodd. Stop shooting me, it's so not cool, man. Tell them why they want feet points. You want feet points because you the more feet points that you have, the more skill points you're going to achieve. Every 100 feet points gives you one skill point. And that skill point goes towards the skill point goes towards the uh, stats and also leads to more weapon combos and more weapons that you can unlock in your skill trees. But when we get a skill, when we actually complete them, you'll find out. Just like now. So we go into our feats and we go into our solo. And I'm wanting to actually look and see what we have to achieve here. So the survival battle that we're going to do, it's probably all the way down here. Gorilla Grodd's Lair, no monkeying around. To, to complete this feat, you can you have to do the entire instance without being knocked out. For the hideout, scroll all the way down. It should actually be down here somewhere. What do I have to do in here? Oh, uh, for Gorilla Grodd's is the revolver. We have to free all the citizens in Grodd's hideout from the uh, from the devolution process. And the and the contacts is basically what we did with the in the mist. Complete all the survival of the fittest story arc side missions. And you also have to complete the iconic battles for Gorilla Grodd in his secret lab. Do not use any consumables or any supercharge abilities. Because of at the level that we're at, we don't have any supercharge abilities, which we'll get into further along when we go as we level up our character. But consumables consists of this guy right here. The soda colas are consumables. We are not going to use the consumables. You can use them throughout the instance, but once we get to the Gorilla Grodd boss fight, these are a no-no. I'm actually going to stack these so I have more and more bank space. So, all right. I just like to blow them up. Of course, I could have used them, but I just want to blow them up. All right, let's open up the door. Greedy monkeys. Security breach confirmed. Security breach Eliminate confirmed. Eliminate the metahuman. Eliminate the metahuman. You always want to make sure you keep an eye out as well for any investigations or briefings that might pop up in here. Smash attack! Blow up the world. Blow it up. That is, of course, is a healing barrel. I'm breaking it because I'm working towards a feat to break all the healing barrels. And this is what you saw within the Brainiac ship. This is called a treasure chest. Every time you see one of these, you always want to make sure to break it. it goes towards the feet. Begin transforming the prisoners. No! Alright. And this is part of the re evolver that quest is to awesome. un is to help these people. This is part of it. Which of course you're forced to do it, so sometimes you're not. You just have to be really keen to look into that. Alright, so no investigations here. I am gonna grab a red barrel. Cause why not, right? Detecting Boom. prisoners escaping. Are escaping sending reinforcements. Don't let the hairless apes get away. I'm not hairless. You see the hair on my arms? Halt where you stand, human. 
You have to help us. I'm helping you in just a moment. These gorillas are not playing around. There. Kill all the apes. Tux the machine. Laughing, monkey boys. And everybody's free. Quick look around to make sure there's nothing, no briefings or anything. Could have sworn that there was like in a corner somewhere. Hmm, guess not. Next area. It feels so empty. All security forces, repel the intruder. Gorilla, get down here. Looking around. Making sure, okay. Get me out of here before Grodd sees you. Use that control over there. Will do. Watch it. He's devolving those prisoners. Devolving? Ignorant, vainglorious fools. You know nothing. Primitive scum. Tremble before Grodd. Try and catch me. All right, so now we're in for the gorilla boss fight. Remember, you're not going to use your consumables here. If you do, um, don't. <laughs> I will crush oh, you skull attack. Yeah, remember skull attacks, you want block and or roll away. It's no fair because Flash can just like move all the way he wants to go. Remember, even if you don't roll Who's away, big angry gorilla, Grodd is. Yes, he is. Even if you don't roll away, you can hold the block button, and it's going to do less damage. And as usual, I like to spin around. Oh, he broke me. I will spin, 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 spin. To dust. Didn't matter. I won. <laughs> And there you have it. Uh, you just Grodd's defeated. Talk to Flash. I'm going to run to Gorilla City and check with Solovar. See you in a flash. Don't don't make jokes. All right, and we're going to activate the teleporter. And that's all she wrote. Oop, story time. Just kidding. I'm going to skip it. But if you want to see the actual story, you need to play the game. It's quite fun. So, without dying in the instance, I was able to get my school, I was able to get the no monkey around, and because I didn't use any consumables or supercharges, because I don't have any, I was able to get the school of hard knocks, and the re-evolver, because we saved all those civilians. We kicked his monkey balls. Thank you, Vagenda. Because that's exactly what we did. And I think we also completed the investigation, I believe. Because there's one there, but I don't remember ever hitting it. Eh, I guess I'll find out later. Let's get the hell out of here. Now, we also got some loot. The bosses do drop loot, and we were able to get the a biomech helm, which is better than what I'm wearing as a damage a little bit, but it's also a higher level. There it is. All right, so relog fixes it.
All right, so now it's complete. Star Labs has confiscated Grodd's tech, which should put a stop to his plans for world domination, at least for today. I want to thank you for your courage under fire. And I know the Flash wants to thank you personally. He's at the local police station safe house with thanks. Who's thanks? Is thanks another person that we have to talk to? Back off. Uh, US PC, uh, PC and PlayStation players can't play together until Crossplay comes out, Alex. And Crossplay doesn't have a release date yet. They're still working on it. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to edit that or not. I'm not really sure. Oh, no, I'll pro I probably will edit it so I can make that a separate video. But just means I have to edit, and I didn't want to. All right, so let's talk to Flash. Hey, it's my partner in Monkey Ball. You up for a new crisis? He said Monkey Ball. Hive's taken over the Metrodome, and Superman thinks you can handle it. Well, already got the next part. Hmm. All right, and there's our rewards for no monkey business for completing it. We get a mark of victory, an XP booster box, and a new chess piece. Now, the XP booster boxes here are to help you. As you can see here, it will grant you a uh, experience for an extra 50% of experience for one hour while you're leveling. And these only really work between the levels of 1 through 30. So you can either save it for crunch time later on, or you can use it now just to get past through everything a lot faster. It all depends on your choice. So we're going to put on the new chest. And we're going to hold on to it. We're not going to use it just yet. So, there you go. That was Gorilla Grodd. Join us next time for when we go and to fight the next story arc. Which I believe might be Hive, according to Flash. It might be Hive. So, there you go. See you next time for the Hive.